Hi. So here in this question we have a glass contains 500 cc of milk and a cup contains 500 cc of water. So we have milk and water. Uh, both of these quantities is 500 ml initially cc. From the glass, 150 cc of milk is transferred to the cup. So 150 of cc, 150 cc is transferred from milk to the cup and next 150 is transferred back now we have to figure out amount of water in the glass and amount of milk in the cup so this was the glass and this is the cup so we have to figure out the amount of water here and the amount of milk so we have to figure out the ratio of these two now we have done this in the class also there's a question exactly same question in the class also with different values so once you have equal quantities of pure, let's say pure A and pure B, equal quantities in two different containers. And if you let's say uh, pour X ml from A to B and then again X ml from B to A. So the quantity of A here will be equal to quantity of B here and quantity of B here will be equal to quantity of A here. We have discussed in this in the class. Hence the quantity of water here and the quantity of milk here will be equal. So the ratio should be option D 1 is to 1, right? Now let's see how, how we can even calculate it. Uh, if you don't know this already, we can even calculate it. So we are given glass and cup. Initially, there is only milk in the glass and initially there is only water in the cup. But once you do all these two transfers, you'll have some water and some milk in the glass and cup as well. So initially, there is only milk 500 cc and there is only water 500 cc in glass and cup respectively. Now once 150 cc is transferred, what will happen? After this first transfer, 150 cc of milk will be getting transferred. There is no water here. So milk remaining will be 500 minus 150, 350 and we will have 150 cc of milk here and 500 cc of water over here okay now if we transfer 150 cc uh, from cup to glass so what is the amount or what is the fraction that we are transferring we are transferring 150 cc out of a total of 650 cc so this comes up about 3 is to 13 so the fraction that we are transferring is 3 13th right so 3 13th of each of the individual constituents will also be getting transferred. So out of 150 cc of milk in the cup, uh, 3 13th will be getting transferred. So the amount of milk after second transfer in glass will be 350 cc was already there. Then we will have 3 13th of 150 cc also. Right? We have to figure out the amount of water in glass and amount of milk in cup. Okay. So instead of calculating milk, let's just calculate the amount of water here. Amount of water here will be 3 13th of water will be transferred from the cup to glass. So 500 into 3 by 13th is going to be the amount of uh, water in glass and the amount of milk in glass will be, you see, 3 by 13th will be transferred from cup to glass. So even 3 by 13th of milk will also be getting transferred. So the amount of milk remaining will be 13 minus 3, 10 by 13. 10 thirteenth of milk will be remaining in the cup. So now if you see the ratio of water in glass and milk in cup is 1 is to 1. This is 15 by 13. This is 1500 by 13. This is also 1500 by 13. So the ratio here comes out to be 1 is to 1. Okay. So that's it for this question. Thank you.